coming in the Delhi gang rape case, uh, Juvenile Justice Board has said the sixth accused is a minor. This means that he will not face trial before special court and will be booked in Juvenile Justice Act. We have Bhavtosh joining us for more details. Bhavtosh. Just a few minutes back, the Juvenile Justice Board uh, gave its order to the special investigation team, which has been probing this case. Uh, they said that the sixth accused in this case, uh, who is a teenager, cannot be tried under the Indian Penal Court. Uh, the Juvenile Justice Board went through the statement of his two principals and also went through his birth certificate and found that uh, on the date of the offense, that's on 16 December 2012, he was around seven, 17 years, 6 months and 11 days old. It further said that uh, because he's a juvenile and a minor and under Indian law, a minor cannot be tried under the Indian Penal Court. It has now been decided by the Juvenile Justice Board that he will face the charges under the Juvenile Justice Act. Now, this is a big setback for the SIT. He's one of the prime accused in this case. Uh, the maximum that he can face is just three years in, uh, in, in a rehabilitation home. He won't be even sent to uh, jail. Uh, the court has said that uh, if, the, if the SIT wants, it can challenge its order in the Delhi High Court and even in the Apex Court. The police was hopeful that the, uh, the Juvenile Justice Board will allow a bone density test to be carried out on the teenager so that his age can be asserted medically. But uh, the court felt and the board also felt that as of now, they would rely on the statement of the principals as well as his uh, birth certificate, which proves that on the day of the crime when this heinous crime took place, he was 17 years, 6 months and 11 days, thus making him ineligible to face trial under the Indian Penal Court. Whereas other five accused in this case can face a maximum of death sentence, uh, the teenager will face a maximum of only 3 years in, uh, in a rehabilitation home. That's right, Bhavtosh. In fact, uh, could you take us through the proceedings of the Court of uh, Juvenile Justice Board and uh, how the, the uh, statement of two principles of Badayu government was very important in this case? As far as the, uh, the hearing is concerned, in a juvenile justice board, the hearing takes place in camera. But uh, sources have, tell, uh, have, uh, have told us that uh, on 15 January, two principals uh, who had uh, been his uh, official teachers in, in Badayu had given their statement. Now, his mother had given the birth certificate, which showed him that he was bo born on 4th uh, June. One accused is Vinay Sharma, the other is Akshay Kumar Singh Thakur. Hai. जो हमारी एप्लीकेशन सेविन ए जुबनाइल जस्टिस एक्ट के तहत लगी थी जस्ट आपके सामने जिसमें जुबनाइल करने की बात हमने कही थी विनय के लिए क्योंकि उसकी एज रियल करेक्ट डेट ऑफ बर्थ एक मार्च 1995 है तो उस पर जस्ट साहब ने उस एप्लीकेशन को रिजेक्ट कर दिया है उसमें हमने मांगा था कि हमारे एक्यूज का बोन ऑस्टिफिकेशन टेस्ट होना चाहिए जिस टेस्ट के द्वारा ही ये पता चल सकता है ये लॉ है कि बोन एसिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऐसा है जिसके द्वारा किसी भी बच्चे की डेलिक्वेंट की उम्र सही बिल्कुल जांची जा सकती है और उसके आधार पर उसे जो भी है बेनिफिट दिया जा सकता है या उसे एक्यूज बनाया जा सकता है या उसका केस कहां चल सकता है ये डिसाइड किया जाता है ऐसा कायदा है ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत हमने ये मांग की थी लेकिन हमें थोड़ी निराशा हुई क्योंकि हमारी जज साहब ने वो एप्लीकेशन रिजेक्ट कर दी है और हम इसके लिए अनरेबल हाई कोर्ट में जाएंगे इस ऑर्डर कॉपी को लेके ऑर्डर कॉपी के साथ हम अनरेबल हाई कोर्ट में अपनी इस बात के लिए कहेंगे कि हमें इस एक्यूज के लिए जुबिनाइल के ऑर्डर एस्टिफिकेशन करने टेस्ट के लिए ऑर्डर किए जाए जिससे कि ये हमारा आगे प्रोसीजर चल सके ये चीज है I have moved application regarding because I am representing two of the accused, one Akshay uh, Kumar Singh Alish Thakur and one Vinay Sharma. Uh, I moved an application under Section 7 of Juvenile Justice Act before the Honorable Court for acidification test of the one of the accused, Vinay Sharma, because as per uh, his parents and as per uh, real date of birth, his uh, first uh, March 1995 of the accused Vinay Sharma. Uh, and if uh, ossification test will done by the by the order of honorable court then his correct date of birth and correct uh, age can be clear 